sun salutations. If you want to remove stagnation, stiffness, tightness from your body, there is a great series of poses to do. It's called Syria Namaskar or sun salutations. This is very common in the yoga practice and I'm a yoga teacher and this is a very popular pose, but it's not always accessible to everyone. So I'm going to show you ways to do it so it fits for you and your body. And we can always modify any pose. So I just want to say, if you think you're seeing blue in my hair, you are. My neighbor dyed it for me. I'm Patricia Becker and I have a special offer at the end of this video I want to share with you something I think you're going to really like. So make room on your floor, your carpet, or put out your yoga mat and we are going to do some sun salutations and make your body feel fantastic. Okay, so stand on up and please stand with your feet parallel, your hip width distance apart. And then feel your feet grounded down, feel your spine lifted up and just take a moment to relax your jaw, take your teeth apart, let your lips rest together. And we begin in a pose called mountain pose. So relax your shoulders down, relax your face, breathe through your nose. And now inhale your arms all the way up to the sky. Please bend your knees, take your hips back, exhale, and set your hands down on the outsides of your feet. And here already you're relieving stiffness and tightness from your back. This should feel really good. Now, set your left foot way back and rest your left knee down. Keep your back toes tucked for stability. Firm your belly, press through your legs, and inhale yourself up. There you are. Nice stretch. You can keep your arms down, or you can, once you feel grounded, hug your hips together and reach your arms all the way up. Stretch up, 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 as you root, root, root. We'll stay here for breath. You can do these sun salutations very quickly, breath by breath by breath, or you can slow them down and enjoy each stage along the way. Depends on what your intention is. Exhale your hands down. Now, instead of stepping yourself back in down dog, you can straighten your back leg, press into your front, and step it on up. And then feel that nice stretch again. Press through your legs, firm your belly, and inhale yourself all the way up to the sky. Bring your palms together, slide them down in front of your heart. Pause, breathe, and we'll do it again for the other leg. So release your arms down. Inhale, stretch up to the top of your head. And as you exhale, hinge at your hips, bend your knee, and place your fingertips down on the outsides of your toe tips. Step your right foot back, rest your right knee down, and keep your back toes tucked. If you're not on a carpet, you can pad your knee with a, a firm blanket or a towel. Inhale yourself up. Check, make sure everything feels good. This is a nice stretch. And then optionally reach your arms up to the sky. Yeah. Good, 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 good. Exhale your hands down. Straighten your back leg. Press into your front foot and rock that back foot on up. Press through your legs. Inhale. Bring your palms together. Slide them down in front of your heart. So far, so good. I hope so. Okay, now another option. Inhale up. Keep your spine nice and long. Firm your belly. Lengthen. And you can set your hands down. Bend your knees as need be. Now please step your left foot back again. Left knee down. Root through your legs. Inhale your arms right on up. This is such a good uh, set of poses. Syria Namaskar, sun salutations. Exhale, hands down. Now straighten your back leg. This time, step your front foot back. For downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. 
I call this the BFFP, Best Friend Forever Pose. Here, bend one leg and take the straight leg heel closer to the left. And then bend the other and take that, and straighten that leg and take that heel closer. Walking the dog. Downward facing dog. Nice, slow, easy walk. Slow down to speed up the rate of synchronicity. Sometimes our lives just keep going and going so fast we don't enjoy each moment. Okay. Now please stretch both legs back symmetrically. Firm your belly. Bring yourself to a plank pose. So far, so good. Press the floor away. Lift your inner thighs up. Lift your belly button up. So here's an option. You lower your knees down and then slowly lower your chest all the way down. Cobra pose. Come up on your fingertips in front of you, in front of your shoulders, probably in line with your top of your head around there. Squeeze your legs together, press your heels down, or press, top your feet down, press your pelvis down, lift up your head, lift up your chest, lift up your heart. Now draw your shoulders back and make any modifications. That's the key. Patricia Becker's yoga, modify, modify. Yeah, to make it feel good to you. There should be 0.0, .0 pain in our yoga. Exhale. Place your hands back firmly, palms down alongside your ribcage. Up your toes. You can come up to your knees. And then lift your knees up and hips up for our BFFP pose again. Take a couple of slow, deep breaths here. Take your hips up and back. To get that big stretch to relieve tightness and compaction that we can feel, stagnation. You can walk it again. Just hold it and breathe. Don't hold your breath. Just feel the pose. Now, here's the way to come back up to the top of the mat. Bend your knees, look between your hands, and walk your feet on up. Walk your feet up so your hands and your feet are, in good, are, are aligned with each other. And here you are in a nice inversion again, letting the blood flow down into your head. Good for your brain, your memory. Good to get the blood into your face. Get gravity going, taking it down the other way. Face yoga on my channel, you might see. Now firm your belly, really press down through your legs and in. Have yourself all the way up. And bring your palms together, slide your palms down in front of your heart. And let's do it again on the other side, just because it feels so good. Hope you're enjoying it. Inhale up, lengthen, exhale. Come on down. Bend your knees, place your fingertips in line with your toe tips. Step your right foot way back, set your right knee down. And actually here, you can drag your right knee towards your the front foot. So you come on the muscles rather than the bones. Firm your belly, press your legs, and inhale yourself. So good. Get the cobwebs out. Sun salutation. You can also do it as a, in the evening, even though it's often acknowledged with the morning, the sun rising. Do it anytime you want. Exhale, hands down. There's no yoga police. <laughs> okay, please straighten your back leg and then step your front foot back to meet your right foot. And then take a couple of slow deep stretches here. Slow deep breaths. Take your inner thighs up and back. Take your outer hips up and back. I have a wonderful, two wonderful programs coming up. 
aging with grace for all ages. Feel good sharing your gut. Burn your belly. Inhale yourself to a plank pose again. And little by little, we build more strength. Upper body strength. Who said yoga is not upper body strength? Now, while you're here, there's a couple of things you can do to make it easier. From your heart, stretch out through your heels. From your heart, stretch out through your head. Our heads are heavy. Make sure your head isn't falling down. Lift your head back up so it's in line with your cervical spine. It's in line with the thoracic spine. Set your knees down. And then slowly lower the rest of your torso down. Let's do the spider spider hands. Spider woman, spider man hands. Come up on your fingertips. Squeeze your legs together. Press them down. This helps protect your back and strengthen it. Pelvis down. Lift up your head, lift up your heart, drag your shoulders back. You're going to bring your sh bottom tips of your shoulder blades together. Oh, yeah. If you're ready, throw yourself back down. Slide your palms back to the outside of your ribcage. Now, here's an option. Tuck your toes. Tuck them extra close. Lift up your thighs, lift up your chest. So we can come up to down dog through plank or up through your knees. So you've got your thighs up, you've got your chest up. The only thing left is your booty. Plank pose. And then down dog. Or you can come up through your knees. Yoga's for everybody. As long as you can breathe and smile, there's always poses that you can do. Yoga's not about achievement, it's about awareness. So, a lot of times we will inhale our right leg up, the back leg up, and get it in between our hands. This is where a lot of people find it challenging. So, here's a couple of things you can do to help. Look between your hands, shift your weight forward, spread your toes in, big kick, lift your knee in, round your back, and then set your foot down. Or if it goes in tongue, Feel free to pick it up and set it down. Then rest your left knee down. Inhale yourself up. Yoga makes us feel so good. It gets to be so you just want to do it every day. Exhale your hands down. And then straighten your back leg. Same thing, push in your front foot, rock the back foot up. Root through your tail. Inhale yourself all the way up. Bring your palms together, slide them down in front of your heart. So there you have quite a few options so that you can do this wonderful pose, Surya Namaskara, Sun Salutation, included in your daily routine. It just gets into a lot, a lot of muscles, muscle groups, bones, and joints that we want to keep healthy as we age. And then my programs that are beginning very soon Aging with Grace for All Ages and Feel Good Chair Yoga. Aging with Grace is on Mondays and Wednesdays is the Feel Good Chair Yoga. I'll be there and lots of people will be there from all over. So I hope you'll join. And the special offer is there is uh, a sale. Early bird registration till July 15th. Early bird registration till July 15th. I think that's about nine or ten days. Or maybe if you're watching this later, six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> or you can still join us for the full price if you're watching it after. So check the link below and I hope to see you then. From the love in my heart to the love in your heart. Namaste. Have a beautiful day.